first things first this is a safety issue you do it at your own risk this video is just for educational purposes but the uh, fusible link in a cobalt 24 volt 2 amp hour battery is right there and when it burns out and symptoms of a burnout fusible link is you'll have power you have you'll have a charge at each end of the battery at this contact and this contact uh, but you will have nothing when measured from the pins and the uh, fuel gauge will not work the fuel gauge shows nothing voltage measured at the pins is nothing to disassemble it there are four t10 security torque screws they are there and there and there i already took these out and now if i measure for voltage at the positive and negative ends of the battery 24 volts now if i check for continuity between here and the positive terminal i get nothing now the fusible link i'm reluctant to stick anything metal in there but i will later the fusible link is right under there it's sort of angled back under there and you can bridge that with solder and I'll do that in just a couple of minutes and show you that it works I want to try to show where it's blown at but I don't know if you can see that or not let me get another light source okay yeah I think you can see that where it's burnt at it looks like just a hole in the middle of that copper okay I'm ready now here it is the fuel gauge nothing I'm gonna take and put a little bit of flux on both sides of that down in there because on the last one I had a hard time getting solder to stick so there must be some kind of coating left on that at the little copper plate and I guess you have to burn it off and I get a, a little bit of burnt shit come out of there on my toothpick but I'm gonna clean my soldering iron tip here's one of them bevel jobs it's a T12 BC2 I'm gonna get a little solder on it I don't know if you'll be able to see this because I'm not going to look through the camera because this is risky you take a chance of shorting something out it is a safety hazard and if you do this you are defeating a safety feature that's already been activated once I'm having a hard time it's sticking to the edges but I'm having a hard time getting it to bridge across right, let's see oh we got something look at that 
to look at this, see if I got, got it bridged well enough that it's going to last well enough to pass some current. And I don't have any, I don't have any cobalt tools to test it with, but I do like these batteries. I think they're really well built. This is a really thick case. It's got air ventilation, and I really like this coating on the circuit board. It's like really thick and rubbery. I think that'll help a lot with uh, if you get this thing stuck out in the rain somewhere. Uh, but that's it. Oh, let me, I'll put this back on and show voltage at the terminals. shit 24.76 volts that's it just fixed now i need to find somebody with a tool to give it a good test thanks for watching